So since you were here last, this was totally renovated. Bathroom. Yes, so this is the house manager space and Will is our newest house manager and he's also our first disciple to complete the first phase of Total Freedom Manitoba. Okay, so you're a house manager. What does that all mean? Well, I just, I kind of look over things that are going on in the house. New people that come in, I kind of help them transition into uh, the new life of being a Christian. If they're not familiar with that, I kind of ease them into it, help them. It's all through the Holy Spirit. It's all through Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if they have questions, I I try to provide the, the right answers for them. Yeah. So you've, you've gone through the program yourself? I've, I've gone through the first nine months and um, I'm still in it. It's a uh, year after two. Okay. So how has your life changed in the past nine months? A oh, lot. Dr dramatically, drastically. Um, you know, he talks about uh, surrendering and denying yourself. And that's exactly what's happened. Uh, I've, I've surrendered, denied myself. I've laid it, laid it all down. All the old, the old will, all the old desires. You know, and there's so many of them that I had that the old will was part of. But that's all gone now. Praise God. So you're a new man. 100%. Another resident we have, Dan, is about to complete the nine months. He's been here for nine months and we're having his gratitude ceremony on April 28th. So, so what happens at a gratitude ceremony? Um, well, I guess just uh, everyone comes, like people from around this area. My parents will probably come maybe. Uh, gratitude, I guess, show gratitude for what Jesus has done for me, I guess. Yeah. So how would you say your life has changed over the last nine months? Well, I've become definitely a lot more patient and disciplined in many areas. I was not, I was very, you know, always trying to be on the move, trying to do stuff. Now I'm not, I'm pretty content with everything. Uh, yeah, my life has changed quite a bit for the better, that's for sure. Oh, that's good to hear. Good to hear. And these two were an ex perfect example of why Pastor Rick and I are here. You know, at 62 and 67 years of age, we thought we would be retired. But this is a full-time position um, that we just want to serve and we want to see men's lives change. And I can tell you that watching Will and Dan both change their life and give it over to Jesus, um, it's incredible to see families restored, um, relationships reconciled. It's just a blessing. And we're excited. We have five men right now in the program. And uh, we're just excited to see God is on the move. We have a couple more approved and hopefully we have a full house. I, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to see what God can do in people's lives. When God changes someone from the way they were to a new person, when the Word says all the old has passed away and the new is here and the new man is here, sometimes it can be discouraging when you're trying to help somebody get to that point. And then finally we realize that it's not us that, we do, that does it anyway. It's God that, changed, that does all the transformation. But I heard, uh, I heard Will talk about it, about surrendering. We have to surrender our life back to God, and that's what it's all about here. And when that happens, things change, and situations change. All the, 
the things in our life that we thought were so important become a whole lot less important and what he does and what he has for us is, is overwhelming when it comes to that because all of a sudden now Will and Dan and, and the rest of the guys in the process are going through that change. And that's why we, we, uh, we, we try to be as patient as we can because we understand it's not easy for people. It's not easy for people to, to change. And when you're 30 or 40 years old and this is all you've known, you know, to allow God to move and change your life into something you never even imagined because He had a plan for you that you walked out of and we've all been there that God had a great plan for us. All of a sudden, that all changes. It's, it's, it is totally miraculous when that comes down to it. It's a miracle that we didn't think would ever happen. And now I look at, at Will, I look at Dan, and, and the transformation that they've done is incredible. I had a guy ask me one time, what's, what's the difference between your program and a lot of other of these programs? And I said, well, I kind of look at it this way. We're not a transition house, we're a transformation house. It's all about transforming into something else, not transitioning in the next part of your life. You got to be able to allow God to transform you so that that next transition can be uh, experienced to the, the utmost extent. We've had a lot of people that donated time and services and everything. Oh! Uh, I mean, when we Fabian first... Fabian Electric? Yeah, Fabian Electric out of, out of Carberry came in and said, hey, if you need any electric work done, call me. So we moved, we moved the washing machine out of the kitchen, which is probably not the best place for it, but it's the only place we had. And down here, they came, they did the install of all the electric for, for us. He said he has some, some uh, carpentry guys that are wanting to help. Anything like that, it may not be dollars out of people's pockets, but it's, it's part of, of sowing seed into the kingdom. We've had such uh, a great response from people with donations of food and donations of time and donations of of just even clothes for some of the guys that come into the program, they don't even have clothes when they come in. And so we've got a, a stockpile of that. All those things are a blessing that we never thought we would ever be receiving and they just keep coming and coming and coming just because of the, of the uh, of God blessing us on a continual basis. Yeah. yeah, here's our washer and dryer. One, The washer was in the... Oh. The washer, the washer was in the uh, kitchen, and the dryer was in the basement. So it was a, really more of an exercise, an exercise than anything else. But now they all work, work uh, they all work well. So. Good. So, 
back on this back side over here, Calvin, is uh, this was an old uh, uh, petting zoo and stuff. And, and, uh, you know, the, old, the old house and the barns and all that stuff back there were. Uh, we just purchased this property, just another six acres. That, uh, so that's where we want to make the the the, uh, the graduate house so over there, so that the guys can have some it's Still on the same property, yeah. still in the same area. And uh, and then, like I said, we we're trying to get us a, a zero turn mower because if you look out here, this is all the everything that we keep. We try to keep mowed as much as we can out that way and it looks nice and it's very presentable so it does keep us busy in the summer i would imagine that this is lily she's our total freedom dog she likes to run away a lot so we're trying to train her <laughs> and since you were here last when we had our grand opening, we added the crosses. Okay. The guys made them. They went and picked trees and made the crosses. We have a fire pit. And our project of 2023 was to get the cottage complete. And so that was actually moved and put on a foundation with a basement. And so Pastor Rick and myself now have a place where we can have our own residence and have a little bit of solitude, which is very nice. We realized that we didn't have our own place since 2017. We were in Total Freedom New York and then we came here. So it's a blessing to have our own little haven. And we thank everyone who helped support and donate uh, for that cause. And then over to the left, we have two little goats um, that were given to me for my birthday last year. Those were my birthday presents. I never thought a city girl would be getting goats for her birthday. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. <laughs> so our big project right here is our septic system. Well, when one or two people lived here, it worked fine, but it's very old and it's not working. Then we added the barn and then we added the cottage. So the barn and the cottage have two small tanks, which thank God for Kevin Dick, who comes out and blesses us by emptying that. And we are so grateful and thankful for that. So now we need a septic field. Well, that costs about $28,000. So we are actively fundraising and we are having a pork chop, baked potato, and green bean dinner on May 3rd at the Austin Community Center. So hope you'll come out by donation only. And also if you feel led to give, you can reach out to us and we can tell you which way is the most efficient for you. So those are some of the exciting things that are taking place this year. Um, we also purchased the property on the other side of the barn. We are so grateful for Mike and Bridget Blair who had the vision to come here. Mike came here, you've heard this story before, to buy equipment and the Lord said to him, I want you to bid on this property and I want you to make a total freedom. And so that was three years ago and the house, so in three years, the work that's been done, the house has been completed for the residents. We had fundraisers for bunk beds. So we have bunk beds, new bedding. We also built the barn and the barn was completed. That's our classroom and holds the equipment. And then we did the shed. So for three years, I'm pretty happy with what God's done and he always provides for every need. So we're just excited about what God is doing here and just want to continue helping men find freedom in their life. As I said, God keeps He keeps providing uh, going forward, so it's all good, and uh, we know that that this is going to continue on. That's why we we didn't start this as a project just for a few years, a few years here, a few years there. This is going to go on long after we're going to be here. So somebody's going to be here helping the same the 
helping people just like we've started to do here. But God keeps sowing into this ministry. It's going to keep happening. It's going to keep growing. And, and uh, with the support that we've received already and the, the ongoing support from the community and, and just everybody, uh, we can just see this continue to grow and, and flourish and be uh, and so that we can continue on what we're going to be. When we leave, it goes over to somebody else and it's still in God's hands. This is all his his Come property, on, not a. Come on over here, Dan. So when we leave, we want to pass the torch. <laughs> and so we are raising up warriors to take over what we started and they'll continue and move on. And we thank you for all your support. We thank Kevin for coming out and being so supportive to us for the past three years. God bless everyone.